So guys, I'm going to show you five useful shortcuts that every iPhone user should be using. To do this, make sure you have the Shortcuts app, which can also be downloaded in the Apple App Store. Okay, so this next shortcut, I think you lot are absolutely going to love. So this one, again, search it in the toolbar, is called Wake Apple TV. And what it will do is, is it will automatically turn on not only your TV but your Apple TV so rather than having to spend all that time trying to find the remote and you know these days how we lose remotes they end up in all sorts of weird places like this what this time around like when if you add this shortcut look it will save you so much time it's awesome so press setup shortcut then you've got to choose your Apple TV there's a there's a there's a menu where you choose what Apple TV uh, you you want to use we've only got one so it's obviously located the one for us but there'll be a drop down menu where you just choose which apple tv you want and then press done and then essentially once you've located what uh, apple tv you want press add shortcut and like that guys you literally from your from siri you can literally turn your apple tv on so let me give you a demonstration guys so guys i'm going to demonstrate this shortcut right now Wake up Apple TV. That's done. And like that, my TV has sprung to action. Look at this, guys. Bang, and we're in. So the next shortcut is start my next meeting. If you can't find it, you can search for it above here using the search toolbar. So when we go into it, it basically allows you to set up your next virtual meeting quickly. So it will scan in your calendar for any upcoming meetings, virtual meetings, and then connects to them instantaneously. So not only does it do that, the clever thing about it is it triggers a new note in the notes app with your meeting det details. So it prepares you and it puts on do not disturb for the duration of that meeting. So guys, incredibly useful and great for those hustlers out there. So if you wanna enable this shortcut, just press add shortcut or say like down below, it says, hey Siri, start my next meeting to run. Cheers Siri. Sorry if that was just my Siri going off. Rip to any series that I've just triggered there. So guys, another incredibly useful shortcut is make PDF. So if we click on it here, or alternatively, like I've said, you can search for it in the search bar above. But yeah, make PDF. Literally, as it says, it's as simple as what it says on the screen now. You can literally save absolutely anything to a PDF from an, any app. So try it on a website in Safari. And obviously to enable it, press add shortcut. Say, hey Siri, make a PDF to run. And look, guys, come on. This is so useful. You know how useful this is? Let me show you right now. So I'm on BBC Football and I'm going to basically touch the share button and then scroll down to make PDF. And like that, you click allow once and it will generate a PDF for you. How amazing is this? The iPhone will detect that your battery is below 50% and then automatically trigger low power mode and set the brightness to a lower brightness to save battery life. It's, it's a really good one for battery life, this shortcut. So to do this, and we'll make a new one, so we'll delete this, you go to create personal automation, and then you go to all the way down to battery level. So click battery level, and let's say uh, we wanna do it when it falls below 50%, but you can choose whatever you want, um, and you can change with this um, with this option here. So for example, maybe we want it to be 45%. So then press next, then add an action. And what we wanna do is script, press scripting. And we wanna go all the way down to set low power mode. So it's in device and it's set low power mode. Click that. And then what you wanna do is you can set a brightness. You can also set a focus mode. So if you wanna put do not disturb when low power mode is on, you can do that as well. But for now we'll do set brightness. Set brightness and say we set the brightness to, I don't know, 
maybe 25%, right? And then press next and then toggle this one off. So press don't ask, because we want it to be automatic, right? When my battery level falls below 50, 45%, it will trigger it. It's now on 49%, guys. I'll show you the exact automation here. So as you can see, guys, the automation has run. It has automatically realized that the phone is now below 45%. So it has put lower power mode on, as you can see, and reduced the brightness to 25%. A really useful shortcut. I'm going to show you how to change the look of an app. So this is a really cool one and you press the plus icon in the top right and press add action and type in open app. So this I believe you guys would like a lot. Name this app. So I'm going to call it app store and I'm going to choose the app Apple store and then I'm going to press done i'm going to press this uh, blue uh, icon here the top right click that and press add to home screen and then what you want to do is um click choose photo so guys then you can choose the the photo you want and you can take this from the web you can use screenshots from the web whatever you want you can customize the look of an app on your home screen so i'm gonna just reposition this there we are nothing like a basic apple logo press choose right and here we are we've changed the look of the app store press add and there we are so now you will see on my home screen that the look of the app has changed well this brings us to the end of the video Thank you so much for watching guys. Please subscribe if you haven't already so you do not miss a single of our videos. And oh yes, a huge shout out to my brother Avi.